Hey guys, average homeowner here. I'm sitting on my golf cart. I recently had this converted over to be street legal so it could be plated and gives me a few more options where I could drive it. Uh, one of the things that had to go on it was a uh, speedometer. From this end, it's very good, but they just left, you can see back here, these wires exposed and I'm not all that thrilled about that. So I'm going to basically fabricate a piece of metal to cover that. Now I haven't worked with metal a whole lot and so today's gonna be interesting and uh, I'll show you how I fumble through it. But the first thing I did was cut a six inch by seven inch piece of metal out of some scrap I had left from the chimney cap on the house. You could see I have bends and cuts marked on here. We're just gonna try to come up, come up, come over. That'll be a lid. Uh, I went over it a couple times, made some corrections, and I'm going to check out, see if it works. So metal fabricators use something called a brake to bend things up. Why it's called a brake, I don't know, maybe break it, I don't know. Uh, but my buddy uh, heard it from an old timer that if you just score that line, you could bend it. Now this is an air tool that I picked up at a second hand store. I've never used it. Again, this is all new to me. We're gonna give it a shot. As you can see, I made this test piece. See that it worked, it works nice. And I just gotta carefully scribe these out. This here tool is a sheet metal bender helper thing. So let's see what we got going here. There's our first one. I just want that straight. I don't know. I liked how that worked. It's pretty much bent in shape took the plastic off. I'm going to weld up these corners, not because I have to, but I just bought the welder. I haven't really played with it, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to have to clear the paint off to get the weld in there, so I'll just take the little grinder here to it. All right, the welding didn't work. Uh, it's too thin. I just burned right through it. Again, I don't know much about metal, trial and error. So I redid another one, re-bent it, and now I'm uh, gonna pop it and hold it in place with a rivet. There's one rivet, I'm gonna drill the hole and place the other rivet in. Okay, here's the rivet gun. There's the rivet, load it up. You can see it's down in here. Adios. I don't know why I said adios, but uh, there it is. Let's see if she works. Okay, so I put it on here. I think it uh, looks better than the bare wires. Uh, could have done a little better of a job. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with the version 2.0. I drilled some holes and it just kinda uh, wire clamps on there. Again, I don't work too much with metals, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, the welding part was a bust, but Hey, I learned something. Can't weld real thin like that. At least with the welder I have, it just burns right through it. Anyhow, this is the average homeowner. Till the next time.